This motorhome is the Ahorn 690 Plus. Unfortunately, I can't see the front of it and you can't see it either, but the front looks something like this. Only it doesn't have that over cab bit at the top. There, when it's got a plus, it means it's minus the over cab. And for me, that definitely is a plus. So this will cost around 65,000 euros. In fact, this one's going to cost even more, 65,855. It's very difficult to say prices at the moment. What uh, you may order, in fact, if you make an order of a vehicle, then the price will be in the contract, possibly. But there are now brands which it is not in the contract. How can you order something when you don't know how much you're going to be paying for it? Now, one of the advantages with this vehicle, though, is that it's on a Renault base. Being on a Renault means that delivery times are not as long as they are for those on, uh, for example, uh, Fiat Ducato. And uh, ordering something like this, you will know what the price is. That's assuming you're doing it close to when I'm actually filming this video. Uh, let's come to the back and have a look at the vehicle. So this is a vehicle with a, a German layout. So we've got here immediately, we've got a step up. In fact, we've got the door. So the door is here. Let's open the door. There's a step up. There's storage under the floor down here. On either side, we've also got storage here and here. And we've got a way to get into the garage back there and there we've got storage in the side so there's quite a lot of actual storage in it and we'll have a look at the other van to see what it looks like with the uh, bed uh, not in the german layout like this but uh, you can see it does give a very large uh, bed should you want one like that uh, here we've got large sink three burners we've got a fridge three-way fridge so it'll uh, need gas to get it to work and in here oh i can't get the thing open why is that what has happened here to stop me not being able to get the thing open is it on central locking or is it that I can't be bothered to open it properly? Well, it's uh, I can't be bothered to open it properly. <laughs> so, uh, it's a bit stiff, but it's new, so that stands to reason. Uh, this is uh, one of the cheapest brands of motorhome. I know, 65,000 is a lot of cash. Uh, this is the current market, and this is why. I mean, not so long ago, you'd have been looking at 20,000 less for this vehicle. And shortages caused largely by COVID uh, caused this breaks in the uh, supply chain. Obviously, energy prices as well have had an impact on this. So we've got an overhead bed up here. Now, usually, I, uh, can't, I say I can't get it down because I haven't got the key. Guess what? I've got the key. There's the key. I've got two of them, in fact. But I can't get in, and the reason I can't get in is because the uh, I can't get in. I can't get the bed to come down, is because there's no electricity. So on uh, on the forecourt, they they've actually turned it off and taken the batteries disconnected as well. So I can't show you the bed coming down. Uh, but I have shown it in other videos. So uh, so I'm sorry but uh, can't see it in this video. Here we've got a lot of storage and there is a very big table. You can also make a bed actually down here as well. So effectively, I mean, if you want, you want to try getting two people in there, I don't think it's a two person bed myself, but I think it's a one person, but uh, you could actually effectively get five people, maybe even six if they're not too big in here. Uh, storage up the front. And it's quite deep as well, as you can see. Boom, all the way back, like that. And under the bed, which drops down with the bed, is this storage as well.
So what I'm going to do now is I've got this uh, version of the vehicle uh, to the uh, to my right. So that's a 690 plus I've shown you, but this is the 690. The 690 has got the overcab, so it's a bit different at the front. Price is roughly the same. So there we have the bit different at the front. Well, quite a lot different at the front. Got a bed uh, up there in the overcab. You can make another bed down here. I mean, carrying six though with a the payload. Uh, I'm only looking around 300, something like that, 350 kilos. I mean, you can't uh, can't overdo it, in my opinion. Here we have what it looks like uh, with the bed done up. These parts here, that's to make an additional bed up front. Uh, so you've got all of this space here. You can see. So I wish I had a wider. Normally, I do have a wider angle. Just that my gimbal gave up, and with this one, I can't actually show you the whole thing at, uh, in one go. But that shows you more or less, you've got this space down here to get into, and also uh, we've got to get into the garage down here. There's the garage, you might be able to see it a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit dark, but the garage is really big, you know, seven, seven meter van, and that's a... That's a pretty good uh, garage. And in here we've got a couple of cubbyhole things. As we have here as well. You've got the gas in there, so you can see the gas uh, for the heating, the water, uh, the cooking, and the fridge. The heating and the water are on the same one and the storage so it's a fair you know it's a fair amount of storage really i suppose um heating duct down there you could i suppose put a television up here somewhere 12 volt plug there And the rest of this vehicle is exactly the same. So I can't take you around the other side because there's a fence found there, but it does sort of give you an idea. Uh, this comes in uh, shorter versions, such as this one here, uh, which has at the, uh, to the rear. I'll just show you. It's got storage at the back, and it's got two very long bench seats. As you can see, got two very long seats. Got the bed at the top, and got storage at the, here. Very large wet room. And in here, we've got storage as well. So this this one here, actually, I think that um, you've got this storage, which thanks to the fact that the bed is uh, in the in there, but also the bottom as well, that can convert to a bed as well. So effectively, it's sleep four and it's shorter 234 centimeters across 296 centimeters uh, for the low profile versions and 306 for the cab over versions uh, we'll have a look at a couple of another cab over six meter van sleeps four all of them 65 66 thousand it's, it's there's very little difference in the price So this has got a side bed there, Some toilet in the side. Up here we've got a bed, 
which drops down and it's also the possibility of making a bed down here as well but bear in mind this is now a six meter vehicle and so it's even uh, even more uncomfortable if there's a stack of people inside Six sixty plus six hundred and sixty centimeters. And you've got a space there for a bed. Got another bed up there. And down here we find a side bed. So um, there you have it, and lots of other vehicles as well. Uh, these ones here called Canada or Alaska, some uh, camper vans, Mülheim, Ruhr, this is Kölner Strasse. So if you're looking for a vehicle, this is the Kölner Strasse is probably the place to be. And so, but anyway, for the moment, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that interesting. I upload every day at 21.15. And so, um, all the best from me. If you subscribe, then, uh, well, I've just told you when I upload, but you'll also know when I do live features as well. So, I attend events such as uh, um, Dusseldorf, Bad Kissingen, and um, Stuttgart, and occasionally other things as well. So, all the best from me in Germany. Thanks for watching.